Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Footer. In this video, we are going to code the HTML for the footer section of our website. So this part right here. So let's jump right in, open your code editor, and scroll down to the footer HTML tag. Inside of your footer, you're going to want to add a div with the class of container. The reason why you're going to want to add container tag is because it now sits outside of the container that we added way, way up here. And we did that because we want it to sit outside of the flow of that. We want the black background of the footer to, to span the full width of the browser, but we still want a container within this so we could, so we could use the bootstrap grid classes. So add a div with the class of row. Save that. And add a div with the class of call small dash call dash small dash two. Close that. And let's add another column. So div with the class of call dash small dash four. Just to save some type, I'm gonna copy this. Let's say end. And we're gonna add another uh, actually a couple more of the call dash small dash two like that okay and within the first one we're going to add a level six heading and say copyright and then ampersand copy semicolon to get the copyright symbol and 2013 and you can just enter your name here and a level six heading in the next column about us and below that add a paragraph tag with some lorem ipsum text this is you could just basically put a little mini uh, snippet of what the website is about or about you or about your company or whatever the next column add a level 6 heading say navigation and we're going to add a ul on a root list give it the class of unstyled that's a bootstrap class it uh, it automatically removes the default styles for the UL. It's gonna uh, not have the bullets and it's gonna have no margin. So it's just gonna be a list of uh, links with no bullets. Add four uh, list items, a href, and add those within the list items as well. And then add just some nav items, home, services, links and contact save that and then we will add a similar thing to this next column but so just to save some typing copy and paste this in there change the h6 to follow us and say twitter facebook google plus and just remove this last one and there's actually one more column I didn't do my math right. There's an, one more call dash small dash two. And in there is gonna be level six heading and coded with, uh, let's put a span with the class of glyph icon. We're gonna add another glyph icon and glyph icon dash heart. And then buy and put your name save that let's check it out here we go here's the footer it's looking pretty good first thing i notice is these list items are actually still styled they still have the bullets when i said that they wouldn't because we used the unstyled class i just realized that the unstyled class is no longer in use for bootstrap 3. in the previous version of twitter bootstrap this is what you used to uh, add list items that were unstyled so basically what we'll do is we'll just add our own style in the next lecture to do that, to unstyle these list items. And then we'll also add the background and do a couple extra things. And then that will be it. So I'll see you in the next lecture.